Hello YouTube and I'm Natalie bringing you a review on a casemate case. The shock res shock proof one, I think. Yeah. And um okay. I got this at Best Buy and before I say anything, just want to put this out there. I just woke up right now, so no snidey comments, okay? Oh my glory. Yeah, no makeup, no nada. Hair is all crappy. I know there's going to be people out there saying crap. So there you go. It, nobody's perfect. Okay, why I chose to do this review right now, I don't know. I really don't know. But, um, here we go. Back to the case at hand. No pun intended. Okay, this case is, like, really nice. It really, I don't know if you can tell, but I'll take it off now and show you. It really doesn't add that much bulk, which is really great. I don't know if you can see the difference. It doesn't add too much bulk. And um, they do have different colors, guys. So if you don't like pink, you know, there's different colors. But it comes off really easy. Like, all you have to do is, like, pu pull, push in right here a little bit and just slide. It comes right off. And I haven't dropped it yet. But I did talk to the sales representative at Best Buy, and he told me he dropped it a good five times, and it saved his iPhone. And then the, the sixth time, I think, is when he dropped it and the case broke, but his iPhone was okay. And so that's why I got it. And I didn't get a an OtterBox one because I didn't see any, and I didn't want too much bulk. And I'm sure they have, like, the commuter one, which is, like, the less one, but I didn't see it. If I had, I probably would have got it if it would have been this thin and this pretty. Okay. So, it's really, it's kind of, like, plasticky. It's plastic on the back, and it feels really nice, I think. A lot of people don't like that. They like the smooth touch, but it's really soft, and I just, I like it a lot. The, the hole, the cut hole for the camera is not something I would have like chose for it myself but it's not too bad I guess I just would have wished for something more precise I don't know I just there's a big gaping black hole just not really gonna get much out of that and um I do have this on with a screen protector which I'm gonna do a review for later, which is the Invisible Shield, and you can't see that because it's backwards. <laughs> it's the Invisible Shield Smudge Proof, no more smudges, fingerprints, or glare, for the, for the iPhone 4 or 4S, and it's Zag. So, a lot of people don't like this because it kind of gives a gritty kind of look to your screen. Not really too much gritty, but a slight gritty look. And I actually don't mind it. A lot of people have a problem with it, and I think you just get used to it, and you don't even realize it's there. And the fact that you don't get any glare anymore is really amazing. So, that's that's that, but we'll get into that later. Um, you, so you can wear any screen protector that you need um, on the back or the front, and it won't really affect it at all. So, you're good with that. The case pretty sturdy. The buttons are easy access. They're like really easy access. Although they are really hard to push. But I'm finding it that it's it's a lot easier to push them down after a while of doing it. So just it's going to be hard in the beginning, but once you like kind of break them in, so to speak, it'll start getting a little easier, but it's still going to be really hard to push them down. You're going to have to use force, which kind of bothers me, but what are you going to do? Um, hold the cutout for that is perfectly fine. Um, I mean, there's not really much to say. I mean, it's just a nice case. The sides are like kind of like a rubbery kind of feel, and I kind of like that because it, it provides good grip as, as a difference because if it was plastic a whole way around, it probably would be a little difficult to grip. It's really easy to grip. It doesn't, it feels sturdy in your hand. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall as opposed to if you just had your normal iPhone in your hand and you're just like, oh my god, and you're gripping it like this, death grip, so it doesn't fall on the floor because you feel like it's going to fall. You don't get that feeling with this case. It, like, it feels like you can just minimal hold and it just feels like it's not going anywhere. So, and this is the iPhone 4S, I forgot to mention. So this is for the iPhone 4S. 
a case for the iPhone 4S. And I'm not sure how precise this is. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but this cutout, it kind of reaches the top of my iPhone. There's like a black spot. I'm not sure if you can see that. But it just feels like the hole isn't cut like perfectly. It feels like they kind of screwed that up a little bit. Nevertheless, it's easy to access, so it's not really a problem for me. And I mean, that's really it. That's really it for this this whole case review. It's nice. It's pink, which, which I love. Um, sturdy. Haven't dropped it yet. Not really sure, but the guy told me, so got that little story to share. And um, it works with any screen protectors that you might have. So, I mean, as far as that goes, it's really easy to take off. So, if you're like weekly clean of your iPhone because I always suggest to um, take out you take off your case at least once a week and just kind of like take a microfiber cloth and just wipe your phone down just in case any lint or dust particles get under there so it doesn't scratch your phone I mean if you do have a screen protector on the back you don't have to worry about that so much but I would still do it just in case for the sides and if you have the full body screen protector then Jeez, don't ever take it off, but I still recommend doing it. Um, that's it for today's review. Thank you for watching, and this was the Casemate review. All description, like, I'll, I'll put the name, full name of it in the description box. So if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thank you, guys. Bye.